things we are. I'm going to tomato around my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another video. This is the Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Dirt and Diesel channel. This is my friend Josh. I'm Tom, and today we're looking at. <laughs> what, can, we do, can, can we do that again? Yeah, I was. Because okay I feel it. like an umpty just stood here like. All right. Welcome to another video. This is the Dirt and Diesel channel. I'm Tom. This is my friend Josh. How are you doing? And today we are looking at old Britain's Ertle farm toy models that we used to have when we were kids. He's brought some of his along with him. I fished out some of mine and we're just taking a trip down memory lane. So yeah, uh, let's get to it. Now it's something that kids do even today but um, these models go back decades and decades, not particularly this one, but some of the older ones go back. They go way back. Um, something like this was from, I don't know if you can see it on there, was from my era. And I used to absolutely love playing with these toys because we wasn't really old enough to play with the real things like we are today. So the, these were what the imagination. This is what we it. had, wasn't it? Yeah. And it's interesting to see what other people had as well. So, actually, in the comments section below or above, wherever we, wherever you're watching this, then uh, put a picture, or if you can't put a picture, list what you had. Um, what were your favourite models back in the days? Whether it was you know just special to you, whether it was rare, or whether you just you just played with that one a lot. Let me know. I'd like to know. Josh, let's go through some of your stuff first. Sounds like a plan. Be that. I've got. Oh, see, that's that's loads more detailed than what mine was. Yeah. Amazing. That's on the front. Folding camper. Look at that from Dagfield. In fact, if you get mine, you compare that. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Look at the it? look at the detail in that one over that one. Oh, that might it? be a C. Is it Siku? Siku? Oh, is that not Britain's? Maybe it is a Britain's. What's it say? John Deere licensed. I think it is a Britain's. You know, it's an Ertl, like the is it? The it's posh ones. <gasps> oh, they always come off. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, does that actually <coughs> say on it what, what it is? I think it is a Britain. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, can I? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. On. That's all right. And that opens and the up. fan spins and everything like it's pretty detailed. It sound like a pair of saddles here, don't we? No, no. <laughs> so this is a sixty-six fifteen. That's a seventy-five hundred. All the stickers are faded just from the sun. That is. Yeah. So that's the choppers. What else we got? But this one was my, like my dirt tractor. This is the one I actually take outside and play in the dirt. You can tell some of the oh, tires. Yeah. Yeah, I think you had to have one that you at least took outside. Yeah, that's it. Uh, you, did you get your John Deere Daylight? Yes. Because I've got the chrome version. I, have, you know, I never actually saw the John Deere one in person. Never met him face to face. Yeah, and these two, I'm pretty sure these two used to go together for me. Like, this was like... Oh yeah, I used to have this. That was like a combination that... I used to have these. Oh yeah, you see, you've got the full brand outfit. Green and green. My brother had the, that's a 6410. My brother always yeah. had the 6400. Oh yeah. But I didn't have that one. Yeah, it's the same, just different colour, isn't it? Yeah, it even comes with the bale, the plastic bale. Mine come with that too. It's still in there. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I've never seen one of these in person. Yeah, 720. 720. I mean, they're actually rare. Ooh. There's a cat in here. This one was always like, I remember my parents always had been like, you really, see like there, you really got to look after this one. It's covered in dust. It's been sat on the shelf for probably like 15 years now, if not more. Like the spout's broken on it. Look, and look how many times it's been repaired. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But how it's been repaired and then the point's missing off there. But I used to love this. It's cool though, isn't it, when you're a kid, like, if parts work on them and stuff, you can move stuff. Yeah, oh yeah. It's like, you play with them for hours. They used to have, like, a table set up at home, 
and I'd, I'd make like a farmyard out of like old wooden drawers. I'd take the front off, so we've got like a three sided compound. I remember you doing that, yeah. And I'd crush like Weetabix up, and that was my bed pile for the cows. <laughs> and have like silage in one. What else have you got? And set up like a. I've got. This is a test of John Deere older than you, isn't it? Waterloo boy. Yeah. This is like being at the John Deere Pavilion, this is. I bought that in Wales when I was about five. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, there used to be one of these on the farm. It's supposed to look like this. Originally. Was that Gazza's? Yeah. You had? <clears throat> so that's what it originally looked like. I had two of these, so I thought, well, I used to modify them quite a bit. And that had got the square cab on. The, the one that was here had got the square cab. So yeah, if you look, I remember it, yeah. I cut the. These cabs come off, haven't they? I cut this in places. I must have been 10 when I made that. Yeah. Uh, so, modified the cab to be a square one, made a new top out of like, probably like a, uh, but that's like, oh, it's plastic. I've made that out of something. Put an air cleaner on from a nail, look. <laughs> uh, and even the one here had a yellow loader with a red bucket. So I mean, I never quite finished it by the looks of it, but. Modified it, eh? Modified it. So I've still got an original one of them. And the modified one of them. It was always cool to have these because, like, we'd only got old tractors at home, Dad and his old Zetas, so this was like closest thing we'd get to modern stuff. Oh, yeah. These were made into every brand. Oh, I remember there being a class one. Oh, that is that a class, is a class one. one. I had a massive curvy one, which I think yeah. I, post, I painted it with poster paints when I was a kid. <laughs> and I wish I hadn't because that's got, I don't know if you could see on the side, it said like, MF200, Massey Ferguson. Now it's the same oh, yeah. thing, that, I think the mechanism broke off of that one. All oh, right. But. I remember seeing them in the catalogue, the 2004 catalogue. These go right back, Britain's have a date on them. 1973 they go back to. Yeah. Oh. See the date stamps in there. Oh yeah, yeah. But that was uh, like, they made them into everything. Yeah. And it's got like the lever on the side. They just made this way. I you know, remember thing. having the catalogue, it was like a fold out piece of, I don't know if it was like A1 or whatever, big fold out with yeah. all the models of it. Yeah, yeah. And there was like the kids section in there as well. Yeah. And yeah. I had it from the Royal Show, that would be like 2001, would it? And then there was like an equine section on the back. That's it. It was like horse box trailers. Land Rover. Yeah, 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 and yeah, horse yeah. trailers. Now, now I it, like this one. Well, this isn't Britain's, is it? No, it isn't, but... This is a Dodge Ram and horse trailer. Me and you got this from... Oh, it is a turtle, though. The trailer, isn't Yeah, well, it? the earlier days... That says Chrysler Group. Yeah, because that would be a Dodge license, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, right, OK. Well, like back in the day when Britain's was just Britain's, stuff was like... I don't know, it was a bit different when, because Britain's was an old English manufacturer. Yeah. And then Ertl did like the more American stuff. And it was when Britain's and Ertl joined. Yes, because that says Britain's Ertl on it. To where... I think they got better. Yeah. Any, I always thought I think anything they did, that I, said... I don't mean to interrupt you. Anything that said Ertl on it, I always thought just was better. Yeah. T to me, I prefer the older Britain stuff just because of that nostalgia thing. Yeah. Whereas the Ertl stuff, the Ertl was all die cast, wasn't it? Whereas Britain's was plastic. plastic. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I think <laughs> they seemed to like combine the two when it was, uh, yeah, when it was Britain's Ertl. I don't know what they're like now. Like, a... I think they're a lot I more want... detailed even still. Are they? Yeah. I haven't bought anything in a long time. Yeah, I uh, Here's a couple of box ones. So that was a, I've got all, I've still got most of the boxes to everything I've got. Oh, I've still got, I've got somewhere like an early fast track, one of the first type that had, it actually was one of the first ones I had that had front lifts on it, but they were like little plastic lifts, I'll put a little picture of it on there. They were plastic lifts and they didn't fit anything, they were just like there. Oh yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, front lifts, we never have front lifts on anything, <laughs> and we didn't have them in real life. And, yeah. Uh, it was, I don't know, uh, got like, 
A low door, got a fence, like a square bonnet, 615 on flotation tyres. I've got loads of New Orleans. I don't know what's happened to all my New Orleans. And I used to... No, I've got one the same as that, and I've got a blue one. That's the one... Oh, I always bought green. 60, and what's this, a Renault? Wait, that's not right. That's a Renault in a Massey box. <laughs> I suppose they're the same shape box, like, don't they? Yeah. They probably just had... Yeah. Yeah, just reprinted them. Yeah. Uh... And then there's some classic stuff in here, like... Get some implements on the go. What about this though, Tom? <gasps> Bit of foliage. Yeah, what's that used for? What do you mean, what's it used for? It was like trees. Did you ever see the, the diorama setups? No. I've got one. It's up in the shed and I bet it's a bit mouldy and mingy now. Right, I'm going to go get it. Just wait here two seconds. Josh. Yeah. Do you think everyone watching this video should subscribe to the YouTube channel? Yeah, I think you should press that button, really. And then, do you think everyone should press that subscribe button? It's not, it's not working. Subscribe to the channel, please. <laughs> right, so this was the diorama thing, what these trees were doing. Now, I can't remember this has been up the shed, so I'll just fetch this, that's why it's so dirty. It needs actually cleaning off. But you kind of get the gist oh, yeah. of it. Wait, there's a brush around. I've never even seen one of these. Have you not? Guessing that's the ploughed field. Yeah, where's this? I remember some of the Britain's uh, sets used to have like dry stone walling segments, they were like wooden blocks. And they slot into each other in corners. You can make fields up of dry stone walls. Yeah, that's that's, that's that, was, that was cool, right? Uh, I'm not sure if this was mine or my brother's because we each had one. Yeah. Now I think this one is. I think that one's my brother's because mine had a little, had like a little, uh, little arched roof barn on it. That looks like that was something. That's a gate that goes there. Oh, I see. Yeah, but my point was. Uh, Britain's even did like trees and stuff, and you could put them on here. Oh yeah, I'm sure they must still do them, but like... This is a bit random all this, isn't it? Yeah, I think it was so you could like, you know, drive your tractors do the thing and whatever. I never found it was quite big enough. Yeah. Like it was alright to put some things on it, but it was never quite like, yeah, <laughs> hefty enough. To be fair, that's actually a very good representation of most farms today. It's just got yeah. the biggest thing, uh, but I've got a 10-acre farm. That's it, yeah. Can't turn it round on the headland, but... Yeah. So that was the diorama set up. But yeah, no, I, like you, used to just make my own. Yeah, that's what I used to find, then. Um, I haven't got any Britain's tractor now. They're pretty well thought of, really, like the detailing. Now they all fold out and work and stuff. There's bits missing on this, and I even bought a replacement cab. You can buy, like, die-cast replacements and the front grill. So I'm just going to mount that one to there. It's probably a bit too big in real life, but... What model's that? <laughs> <laughs> she needs a bit of weight on the front. What is it? Uh, 595. Oh, yeah. Uh, it did come, it did used to have a cab. I had a little hair thing. stick on it. Oh, I put that on. Did you? Yeah, I It's like that. a pin. It is a pin, I think that's what it is. <laughs> but these, like these models, I think go back years. Yeah, they look old school. There's a few more here. Bump crack out on camera. There's a few more. That used to go. on the axle stubs. Did you ever have Tonka toys? Like that. Uh, like I had a couple of the big tin things. things. Yeah. Yeah. Like pivot steer loaders and you could drop the arm on like a That's it, a yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to play with them in the sand pit. So, get closer to it. Now this, now this box was like a bits box, what I used to make. Like cut and make stuff. Oh, that's off. That's off that forager you just. Picked is it? Up. Yeah. Oh, is that a uh, maze there? Yeah. I painted it green. It, it was originally orange. But 
It's been a long time broke, that is. Right, so this was one of my own creations that I never finished. You can see what I was trying to make, right? One wing, two wing. I think I bought them. But then I molded that out of clay. Yeah. It's like a uh, Fordson Major. We've got a front axle on the go. I realised now the front axle was a bit too big. Yeah. The thing I was trying to make. But that's a 10 year old, you know, come on. That's all right. I was trying to make. Uh, trying to make like uh, Do you need I, some assistance? I was just going to hold it, yeah. I was trying to make like a... Uh, you can see that on the camera. I think it's showing up. I need a... Like a Fordson Major or Super Mate, I don't know what it is, but... I was attempting it, look, and I'd made that bit out of clay. I'd moulded the bonnet. So that's what I was doing. John Pepper Gold Award, an excellent sonnet and enthusiasm. You got the right lad? January 2000, so I've been 10. Gold Award? I got a Gold Award. So that was just bits, really. <coughs> oh, there you go, that was off that diorama. That was the barn that came with it, again, genuine Britons. Oh, yeah. There was another leg, and that was the barn. Can't help but think that these barns are probably too small. <laughs> <laughs> it's a contraction engine. <laughs> <laughs> Striker cab extension canopy cab. If Red Dibner were alive today. <laughs> it looks alright, it doesn't even look out of place, does it? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> I can go again, I can do it with Bill. Make up. <laughs> Come on. There's one at your feet. Come on. Hello, Bill. Hey. I'm not going to play ball now. Hey. Wow. Wow. I'm not going to let me pick him up, Tommy. When he laughs, it's like the count of, of Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. For more videos like this one, hit the button. See you next time.